This is Webby HQ.biz and this is part two of rewriting and spinning articles. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this one here, which is the extra version of I made of those three ones there. And I'm going to turn this into something that can be spun. And the uh, spun version I'm going to put into the uh, unique article wizard. Now the best way for me to uh, work this is to do it in a different application. I'm going to use TextMate for that. So what I've done is I've selected here and I've uh, copied it to the clipboard. And then I'm going to TextMate and paste it in there. So what I need to do first of all is I need to be able to get this into spin tax. So I'm going to have to save this and I'm going to save it as uh, just call it BND for the moment. Band. That'll do. Band01. And then I have to make sure I give it an SPY suffix. Once it has an SPY suffix, I have this bit selected and then I can do my uh, command, control and W. And it puts in those little bits of uh, things there, which means that's going to spin it for me. Now I need to remove that one there. That's the pipe symbol. Go to the end of this line here and put in a pipe symbol there. That's the shift and then it's above the backslash key. And the pipe symbol on that one there. And then that will actually spin that for me, it will. And I'm going to do the same with this next one. So I'm going to do Control, Command and W. Delete that pipe there. Put in a pipe there. Go to the end of that line. At the end of that line there and put in a pipe there. So what's going to happen is that when this uh, does its work, it'll spin it for me. What I could do if I wanted to is I can actually sort of get rid of the uh, spaces in between these here. It doesn't really matter, really matter whether I do or I don't because I don't actually need to have those uh, spaces got rid of because when it comes out in HTML, it'll work out okay anyway. You see what it's done here. It's pulled in the line one in the first one there so this one here is a random usage of line one from this part over here or say it's got a line three there and it's got a line three over there and altogether it's given me 42 words another thing i can do with uh, this one here is to put a uh, bit of html in there so if i'm going to put it in there this is going to be um, h2 that's going to be the heading Quite a good way of doing this to uh, make it a little bit quicker is I can take this one here with the pipe and the uh, curly bracket close symbol and paste it into the find box there and tell it to replace it with just a curly bracket on its own and tell it to uh, replace all. And that's just a little bit easier way, uh, easier way of doing the job. Okay, now you can see that on this first paragraph here, I've uh, pulled it into just one paragraph. I'm going to do the same with this one here too. And I've just selected all of that there. That's one paragraph, everything between these uh, sets of symbols that I've got here. And I'm going to do a Control Shift and W. And that gives me the paragraph marks at the beginning and the end of that there. And then what I can do is I can just delete these out of the way. I need to have a space in between the curly brackets here. So you see that bit there, I've got uh, close curly bracket, space, and then open curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket, it really doesn't matter whether there's any spaces or not because they don't actually show up in the uh, thing itself. But you do need to have spaces in between sentences so you can do that. You can actually just do it so that you don't have spaces in there and then go and do a search and replace afterwards if you want to. Wherever you find these is going to be the quickest for you. First couple of paragraphs there, all set up, ready to go. If I do a spin on this now, just so you can see what it looks like, let's do uh, a spin, which is uh, Control, Command, and S. And that's just give me the one spin that has. And in total, it's uh, 376 words. There's my first paragraph. There's my second paragraph. And you see, I've still got the numbers in there, but that's just to show you how that it's... Uh, being brought in there at random. In this first sentence here, I've got a one, a one, and a one. They're all exactly the same there. That uh, can happen. It's totally random. Then in the next paragraph, I've got two, three, 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 and then a one. More versions of it. You can see here I've got 384 words in the first one, 385 words in the next one, 387 words in that one, 370 words in that one, 
369 words in that one. And each time each of these versions is different. As you can see from this here, I've got rid of all the 1s and 2s already. Now the next thing for me to do is to get rid of the 3s. I'll put the 3 in there and click on Replace All. And I've got rid of all the 3s in there. Nice. Just want to make sure that I've got the curly braces set correctly. So I'm going to do that and find those that are completely next to each other like that. And do one that's got, do them that's got like that. And what I want to replace it with is where I have the curly bracket, space, and then curly bracket. So in this case, just to replace all again, and it tells me that three were replaced. Paste in that there, I want to get rid of. I don't want to have it replaced by anything, I just want to get rid of it. So I'll tell it to just replace all. So now what I can do is I can go into this and do a and control and A. So now I have it all set up. So I have just the one title at the beginning of it. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs after that. If I want to, I can uh, put in a uh, another title somewhere in that just to make it a little bit different. But as you can see, it's given me a, a count there of 339 words there, 356 on the next one, 361 on that one there, 342 on that one there. And everything is looking pretty good. The job is pretty much done. What I'll do with this is, is I will do a control and select all of it. So Command A. Then I will copy that onto the clipboard. I'll go into Scrivener then. Now I don't need this bit here where it says four spin because I've done all that there. And this is going to be my spinnings. So if I just change that there spinnings and go into this bit here to command command a delete it and do command and v and paste it in and what i'll do this particular occasion now is is that when i go into say an article directory and when i put in something that's going to be totally different i don't have to go opening the spinner up again all i need to do is to take that to command x to cut it out of there so now it's not in there at all. I can see it's been removed. There's nothing there at all now. And I'm going to where I want to put it in and paste it in as a completely new and original, well, mostly original article. Good. If you'd like to know a bit more about what I'm doing here, have a look at the website, webbyhq.biz.